Hey guys, so for this video, I'm gonna be doing a voiceover to explain my painting process and how I get from start to finish. This piece was inspired by a photo that I found on Instagram belonging to Adrian Murray. Uh, and I really, really like the lighting here. So I decided that I'm gonna to try to make my own characters from it and see what I can come up with. So the first thing that I start with is Always a sketch. Uh, I like to put a sketch down just so I know where all the different colors are going to go. Now, unfortunately, I didn't actually record the sketching process for this video, but what you see on screen right now is basically I am doing a general color blocking for the background. And this is just to get an overall sense of the color and the lighting uh, and also the mood of the painting. Like I'm not putting in too much detail. I'm not focusing too much on the small things. I'm just trying to get like a general feel. And I like to always do the background first because this gives me an idea of whether or not the painting is actually going to work before I move on to the subject. So after I figure out the background, I can then turn the opacity down on the original sketch and go in with the lasso tool to kind of get, a, get an outline for the character. And this just makes sure that when I do the color blocking for the character and when I go in with uh, my brush. I don't go outside of the outline. I don't change the original form of the character. It just, you don't have to do this, but it just, you know, it'll make your life a lot easier uh, when you don't have to worry about painting outside of the lines and having to readjust every single time. And this is pretty much just the same color blocking process as the background. Uh, I'm trying to get a sense of how she's going to look in this space, in this environment, how the light is going to be interacting with her and you know i'm not going into too much detail right now because that's just not necessary i'm trying to see if the character will fit in the environment and again i'm turning down the opacity of the original sketch more and more as i get uh, more into the details of the character and you can see that i flipped my canvas just now that is a super super useful thing that you can do to spot mistakes in your painting uh, you know if you're drawing especially portraits i find uh, in any case where like there's anatomy involved, it's really, really helpful to kind of look at your painting from a fresh angle with a fresh eye and you can spot all the mistakes that you've been making. There are so many instances where I flip the canvas over and I'm like, oh my goodness, <laughs> like how did I not see this? So now I am going into a bit more detail with the character. And once I start doing this, you can see that I turn off the original sketch layer because I no longer need that guidance uh, as to where to put things. And you'll see me turn that layer back on uh, every once in a while when I get to an area that's less detailed, there's less information there and I need some guidance. I'll turn that layer back on. And I only go into smaller details once I'm comfortable with the overall colors of the character. And when I see that the character is sitting in the environment well and it, she's looking like she's a part of the environment, I can then go into uh, defining her a little bit more with uh, a smaller brush. And you can see that I'm also adjusting some of the proportions, some of the mistakes that I see. And now is probably one of the best times to make these big changes because uh you've yet to get into too much detail and you can see that you know i'm changing like the color of the top and this is the creative freedom you have when you decide to make your own character and i try not to be too limited by the original sketch uh if i see areas that i want to change or things that i want to add in i will just do it and ignore the sketch uh, this is why i like to keep the sketch kind of loose because i know throughout the process of painting i'm going to find different things and i'm going to want to add or take out so the sketch functions kind of like a skeleton to tell me where things are going to go as opposed to uh, a representation of what the final painting will look like. And here I start on the hand. Now you know how it is with hands. Hands are like impossible to draw. So I get a little bit stuck here. It's looking like she has three fingers. I don't know what's going on. But how do you get over this? Well we all have hands right so i used my own left hand flip the canvas use my left hand as a reference i you know had to pose it in a way that i think would work for the painting and 
uh, basically went off of that. So whenever you're stuck on a hand, uh, and I, I get stuck on hands literally all the time, I have no idea what I'm doing with them. Whenever you get stuck with it, just reference your own hand. You, you're going to be drawing with one hand. You're going to have the other hand free. So take a look at your hand and make sure that what you're drawing looks like an actual hand. And at this point in the painting, I'm feeling like our main character is looking pretty solid. So we can then move on to our second character, which is this little dog thing that I created. Um, again, we're starting with color blocking, basic color blocking. We're not going into the details. Uh, and this is just to, we want to make sure the character sits in the environment correctly before we do anything crazy with them. So here you can see big brush strokes. I'm trying to get the colors down, trying to work with the lighting a bit. And once I feel comfortable with that, and this is where I move into, you know, a bit, bit of the smaller details and stuff, how the eyes are going to look, the big puppy eyes, and uh, some of the lighting on the side. You can see um, at this stage, I'm jumping back and forth a bit between our two main subjects. And this is because we are in kind of a final detailing stage now. So um, any of the small things that I spot that I think I need to work on, I'll just go right ahead and work on it no matter what area I'm currently painting. And that's because a lot of these fixes might be kind of small. So if I hold off on them, uh, I might forget about them. And uh, right now it is okay to jump into smaller details and kind of hop around the painting a little bit, just finding small things to fix. And you can see here, I'm just addressing the color a bit and uh, how the lighting is gonna interact with the character. You can see some like the bounce light that hits uh, the back side of her arm and her back and uh, this is also something you have to consider because when you have a light source uh, especially like a strong light source like sunlight um, like you see in this painting there's going to be a lot of bounced light and if you address that light correctly your character is going to look like they really are sitting in that environment and one thing i like to keep in mind for this stage of the painting is to not get uh, too caught up in the details and try not to stay in one area for too long uh, and that's usually how we end up spending like nine hours you know on a single painting and it's it's like crazy amount of time is because we get so caught up on like one area and we just keep going over it and over it and over it and we don't know when to stop right so what I find uh, personally is that when I spend less time uh, going over all the you know perfectionist details and things like that I find that my paintings actually look a bit nicer in my opinion uh, because you can see all the brush strokes and how it's all done and it looks less uh, artificial in a sense so yeah I just skip around the painting uh, move from spot to spot don't stay in one area for too long and uh, I tried to let go of the perfectionist in me that wants to you know draw every single eyelash <laughs> but yeah this is basically my painting process so uh, hopefully this was helpful uh, with the commentary and uh, if there's anything else that you want to see like a specific tutorial or how I do certain things uh, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll try to cover that topic uh, but yeah thank you for watching I appreciate you being here I'm gonna try to get a better mic so that I don't sound so muffled all the time <laughs> But here is the final painting.